there's no reason why these shouldn't last you a lifetime. In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the traditional Japanese Zori tatami sandals that we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna be talking about the features that they've got, why people use them, what stars would use them, and at the end, I'm gonna to put together a short montage, including the stars that would wear Zori sandals. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Japanese Zori sandals we have for sale at Enzo. Zori have been used in Japan for countless years and it's all about the practicality of keeping your house clean and also being able to get shoes on and off while wearing traditional Japanese clothing. So what people would do, they'd have a set of Zori that they wear for outdoors and they'd have a set for indoors. So when you come to the threshold of your house, you would kick off your Zori and you'd put on the indoor pair. So you can walk around your house, you've still got warm feet and you're keeping your house nice and clean with your indoor shoes. A bit like slippers in the UK. However, when you go outside, you're able to slip them off and put on an outdoor pair and then you're able to walk around in your Japanese traditional clothing. So that's where they've come from and they have gone into martial arts and mainly in styles where people train on mats. Now, if you've ever trained on mats and people are bringing dirty, like their dirty feet onto the mats and they're getting muck all over it and even sometimes little stones, it is a nightmare. For the grappling stars, if you've got dirty feet in your face, it's, a, it, it's, it's horrible. If you're getting rolled around on the mat and it's dirty and like there's sort of stones and bits of muck getting on you, your geese get filthy, you get filthy, you can get hurt. It's not good at all. So what a lot of the martial arts have done, especially the Japanese martial arts, who train on mats, will encourage everyone to get Zori or something similar. So when people are going from the change room, they're getting changed, you can stick on your Zori, you can walk over to the edge of mat, kick them off and stand on the mat, and you've got perfectly clean feet. So you're not picking up any dirt from the, the changing rooms or from the, from the area around the mat. You're keeping it nice and clean. So yes, it's safe, yes, it's healthy, but it's also very, it's just respectful. It's, it's, it's a nice thing to do, or even just a standard thing to do, to want to keep everyone clean and healthy and safe. So Zori are really, really important. Now, what styles would you use them? Well, I used to do an old style of uh, traditional Japanese Jiu Jitsu and we would wear these on the mat. Everyone would have to get on the mat and it was a nightmare. So if you've got people just in socks and trainers and you know getting back on out the change room and then taking them off at the mat, all the people with Zori can just kick them off straight onto the mat, perfect. Also Aikido are really big users of Zori. You know, again, it's a very similar style training on mats. Now, these days, you know, with the with the rise of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, all of those guys also should be wearing Zori or something similar. But I think flip-flops have become more important, like the Brazilian style flip-flops. But yeah, a lot of people will be picking up the Zori. For really any style that's training on mats, you should be using something. If not these, something like these. So let's just have a look at a few features of the Zori. So they've got a bit of a heel on them and I think traditionally women's Zori would have much more of a heel and men's are quite a bit flatter. With a nice kind of really hard rubber grip on the bottom. You don't need any crazy grips, you're just going across the sports hall in the main. You're not gonna be wearing these outside really. So, but you do want a little bit of grip. They've got this straw tatami base on the bottom, which is actually really, really comfortable, really, really like easy to keep clean, and yeah, really nice to have a natural fiber on the sole of your foot. And then it's got like this cross strap over the top. Now we don't have like the, the thong style flip-flops. They're a bit harder to get your feet in and out. These are really easy to kick off, especially on the edge of the mat. You just kick them off and then slip straight back onto them. So if you need to like get off the mat halfway through training, you slide straight into these, no problem. Go off, do whatever you got to do and come straight back on. Really nice and efficient bit of kit 
to help with your training. Another thing to note is that this is pretty much a one-time investment. Uh, there's no reason why these shouldn't last you a lifetime. We had a guy in the shop the other day and he bought a pair of these about 12 years ago and they're still going strong. He said they still looked like pretty new. No, no problems at all. They'd last him absolutely ages. So yeah, most likely you buy one of the pair of these and they're gonna last you your entire training career. So at Enzo Martial Arts, we do have a wide range of martial arts shoes, but for the stars that are buying Zori, you pretty much won't need any other shoes. So I'll just show you some of the kit that we do for the stars that use Zori. We do the lightweight judo gis. Now actually, these don't tend to be used by judo practitioners. Traditional Japanese Jiu-Jitsu and Aikido use these. They're the perfect gi for Jiu-Jitsu and Nike. We also do the black and the dark blue Hakama, again for all the Aikido and Jiu Jitsu practitioners. And for the Aikido guys, we have the range of weapons that you'll need, including the Red Oak Bow Staff and the Red Oak Joe Staff. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of the styles training that would use Zori. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the traditional Japanese Zori Tatami sandals we have for sale at Enzo. If you like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel, click the little icon, and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much, and I'll see you soon. Cheers!